Hello again, welcome back. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be writing a quadratic formula calculator. And the purpose of this video is to show how to use an if else statement. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is declare some variables. Uh, the a is going to be the value associated with the x squared, b is going to be the value associated with the x, and the c is just uh, going to be the one that doesn't have a x associated with it. All right, then I need to declare two more real variables, which is going to be the discriminant and the two roots that I'm going to calculate. The discriminant is the part that's under the square root in the quadratic formula, the b squared minus 4ac. And the reason I'm calculating that separately is because I want it to tell me whether or not the roots are imaginary. And if they are, I want it to tell me they're imaginary. And if not, I want them I want it to tell me what the roots are. So I'm just going to go ahead and first I'm going to print this print to the screen uh, enter values for a, b, and c separated by commas or spaces. And then this read command is going to read the values that I type in uh, into the variables a, b, and c. And you'll see how that works in a minute after I compile it. Once I'm going to do that, I'm going to calculate the discriminant, which is b squared minus 4ac. Okay, and again, if this is negative, the roots are imaginary. So I'm going to put a little comment off to the side here saying what that is. Okay, so what I'm going to tell Fortran is if the discriminant is less than 0, then print roots are imaginary. Right. Then if the discriminant is not less than zero, which in this case the roots are going to be real, I want it to calculate the roots and tell me what they are. So first I'm going to calculate the roots. And in Fortran, the square root function is uh, just SQRT. All right. So for the second root, it's going to be the same thing, except it's going to be minus instead of plus. Because remember, it's negative b plus or minus the square root of the discriminant all over 2a. Then print to the screen. Roots are. root 1 and root 2. And in a print statement like this, uh, the items are separated by commas. So if it's a string, which is uh, text that you want to come out to the console, you have to put that in single or double quotes, I believe, work 2. Then comma, you know, uh, variables don't need com or sorry, don't need quotes around them. But you just uh, line them all up separated by commas and Fortran should print it out just fine. And the last thing I need to do is tell Fortran that this uh, this if block is done. And go ahead and write that and build it. All right, and go ahead and run the program. So first thing it's going to do is ask me. Uh, for values for a, b, and c, and I'm just going to make some up. I'll separate them by commas this time. Okay, and it's telling me that the roots are imaginary. And let's see if that's true. Uh, b squared is 16 uh, minus 4 times 1 times 5 is negative 20, so that's negative 4. So yeah, the roots are imaginary. So that uh, it's working so far. We can run it one more time. And this time I'm going to separate the inputs by spaces just to just to show you that that still works. And I'll put in some values that are hopefully real, and they are. And it calculated the roots and told me what they were. So that's how you use an if else statement. Um, you know, basically all it does is Fortran gets here and it says, okay, if this expression is true, the discriminant is less than zero, then do this. If not, uh, 
do stuff that's under the else. And one other, one other thing we could do, or I could do, I'm just going to mention it, I'm not going to actually run it. If you write, you can write else if, let's say, discriminant equal to zero. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, what this will do is, it's just give, it's a way to put another condition in on the else, on the if else statement. I need to put it then here. And this is probably not going to actually work because of uh, rounding errors. Um, it's going to, you know, even if the discriminant is equal to zero, it, it might be rounded to like point zero 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 one off or something. Uh, so there's a different, there's another way to deal with that, and I'll go over that later. I just wanted to mention that you could have more than more conditions than just the if and the else. But that's just a quick introduction, and thanks for watching. Take care.